Hi guys, it's Monet Rose back with another look for you guys today. We're going to be previewing this double wing eyeliner for you guys. Stay tuned. Now my face is already primed, eyebrows already done and filled in. I'm going to go ahead and go on with my LA Pro Concealer in the color font all over the eyelid for my base before we do the eyeshadow. I'm going to take a damp beauty blender here using the end of it to go ahead and dab all of that concealer out so we get even coverage. Now I'm going to go ahead and go with my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set that concealer in place. Now I'm going to go with my Cara palette in the number ES04 here. And it has pretty much warm shades and neutral shades in it. We're going to go ahead and go with this brownish, reddish color. And prime that all over the eyelid here. Now I'm going to go off my ELF 100 color palette in this color orange here as my next transitioning color on the inside middle crease of that inner lid there. Now I'm going to use this black from that also same ELF palette here. We're going to use this as a smoky part to the eyelid there. And then we're going to go in with this yellow here to transition into that middle inner ring of your eyelid here just to get it a pop of color. Now I'm going to go in with my next Vivid Brights and the color yellow here to start that double wing eyeliner look. This is going to be the first wing eyeliner that I do put on. And then we're going to go on with another color after to make it a double look, which is in my NYX New York Black Collection. You're placing it directly underneath that yellow, cutting it pretty close, that way it gives it a double halo effect. Now I'm going to go on with my Pro Concealer and the Orange Corrector. We're going to go ahead and start the foundation here next. I'm going to put it all over the dark spots, cover and conceal anything. I do have a lot of blemishes here, so I'm just trying to cover most of the base areas without applying so much. And that way it doesn't give me so much of an orangish, reddish undertone. Once again, a damp beauty blender. Using my NYX mattifying spray there. I'm going to let him buff all of that concealer out. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation. I love this foundation. It's very full coverage so you don't need much of it to apply. And this color is mahogany. Just going to dab it all over the face there. That way we get some full coverage. Taking all the way back to my ears. All the way up to the brim of my nose. All around. Just dab, dab, dab. That way we get an even full coverage of the application.
Now, when you're coming to the wing area, make sure make sure you're being very cautious not to come not to come too close and rubbing off that wing eyeliner there. You don't want to mess up your lips. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Sacha Buttercup here. Go ahead and set that foundation in place underneath my eyelids to give it sort of a highlight here, not too much. I'm also gonna be applying that to my chin and to my forehead. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Ardell Lashes in the Glamour Collection, that number 105 here. I went ahead and applied them off camera for you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Lights Camera Flashes Mascara from Tarte here. I love this because it's like a four in one mascara. It lengthens, it moisturizes, it has minerals. It's just all around perfect, it's great. I love this stuff. Now I'm gonna take my mattifying finishing brush from equal to's hair and just go ahead and buff away all that sacha buttercup powder on my face making sure there's no powder left behind clean even buff now i'm going to go on with that same color that i used previously here before for my car palette, I'm going to apply it to the bottom lash line here. Now I'm going to go on my Kiko Milani eyeshadow. I bleh, if I could talk today, my double glam eyeliner pencils. I'm going to start with the number 113 here, which is like a creamy white, and then I'm going to go in behind that with the double eyeliner and the number 115, which is an a full on like full coverage dark black and I love this. Once again going back in with my Tarte Lights Camera Action Mascara and using it along the bottom eyelash line there. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a new natural lip gloss here from the NYX Butter Gloss Collection in the color Praline here. I really love this. It's a nice soft gloss, very neutral to my skin color. It's amazing. Now I'm going to go ahead and go with my MAC Pressed Powder in the color Deep Dark here. And I'm going to go ahead and blot that across my entire face pretty much. Now I'm going in with my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Spray it all across the face here to give that nice clean glow. And this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoy.